Assalamualaikum. Uh, for today, we will um, continue with a star algorithm. So for uh, for today, I will show you how to answer the question on eight puzzle problem. So this is uh, known as eight puzzle problem because uh, the question revolve uh, given a puzzle. So usually the question is given like this in the final examination. Consider the eight puzzle problem below. Given this as a start state, 2, 8, 3, 1, 6, 4, 7, blank, 5, as initial state. So this is the initial. And then this is given as the goal state. 1, 2, 3, 8, blank, 4, 7, 6, 5. Using a star algorithm, complete the figure below. So... The question require you to rearrange the puzzle from uh, from this, okay, from this into this. So the puzzle look like this in real world. So the real world puzzle them macam ni lah. Yang blank tu sebenarnya blank. Okay. The blank is actually is uh, an area without tile. So you have to move the tile. So you have to move it, the tile like you have to push it. From, uh, uh, from here through the blank area okay push it uh, you can either push down push left or right up or down left or right uh, adjacent to the blank area so this is how the puzzle would look like okay you only have to push uh, and shift it so uh, I know some students would uh, be confused on how to move uh, this puzzle or how to answer the puzzle question but rest assured this is a really easy okay really easy question and once you know the basic you can answer a uh, future puzzle problem uh, with relative ease right the formula is simple okay just follow the basic ESTA algorithm fn equals gn plus hn where gn is the distance from n to start and hn is the quantity of marble which is dislocated right what is meant uh, by this uh, question okay dan ni dia tunjuk uh, kaedah dia okay it means that from the start state you have uh, three choice Either you move 6, you move 7, or you move 5. So you can move 6 by pushing 6 uh, to the bottom. Or you can move 7 by pushing the 7 to the right. Or move uh, 5 by pushing 5 to the left. So this is an animation that I can show you. So if you look at the animation. Okay. Alright, this is the animation. This is the start state. And then this is the number of display style. So the number of display style you have to compare it from the start state or initial state with the goal state. So you see that the num uh, the item okay the tile sorry the tile two eight one six ah displays okay yang ni yang Duduk di tempat lain. Tak duduk di tempat yang sepatutnya. So, goal state is like this. So, 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 7, 6, 5. So, 1, 2, tak duduk di tempat dia. 3, duduk di tempat dia. Okay. 8 and 6 also does not uh, be placed on its uh, actual location. Okay. It's supposed to be location. So, the red denote display style. Alright. The goal is that to turn this. Into this. Kita nak susun ni. Dalam uh, menggunakan um, bilangan uh, pergerakan yang paling minima. Alright. Because a star goal is to find the lowest cost. So the least movement. So it is our goal also to find the least cost or the least movement to turn this into this. Okay. Untuk... Uh, Gerakkan daripada sini kepada sini. So, macam ni dia, dia, kita akan susun supaya pergerakan tu kita boleh dapatkan goal state dengan pergerakan yang minimal lah. You can move uh, from the left 
uh, for, from the initial state to the goal state with the minimum movement. So, uh, in this case, Hn is 4. Because there are 4 tiles, is being displaced. Okay, it's different from the goal state. Tiles 2, 8, 1 and 6. 2, 8, 1 and 6. Alright, from the initial state. Okay, uh, okay, this is what we call uh, the initial state. For initial state, you have three choice okay, of movement. Either you move 7 to the right, like this. Or you move 6 to the bottom, like this. Or you can move 5 okay, to the left, like this. Okay. Yes, lalu ni kalau human, okay, usually if human would do this, the human would have to try it uh, based on trial and error. But if the computer trying to do this, it will calculate the cost. So, I the algorithm uh, depict on how the computer would calculate the cost. Okay, okay to achieve the minimal uh, movement in order to achieve the goal. Okay, let's say that uh, you decided to move uh, 7. To the right. So, if you try to move 7 to the right, they can jadi state B. So, this state B. So, nampaknya bilangan uh, display style ni bertambah satu. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 tile they are displaced when uh, you compare it with the goal. So, goal macam ni. So, if you open up your note, you see that the goal is like this. So, you have to compare the display style. Style yang tak uh, disusun. So, HN automatic become 5. FN automatic become 6. So, when you total uh, the number, you will get that... Uh, okay, state B is... Oh, let me change the font. Okay, you will get that state B is uh, FB equal GB plus HB. So, we have here 1 plus 5. So, equal to 6. So, state B is 6. So, mana dapat GN ni satu sebab kita baru buat uh, gerakan pertama. So, Dalam gerakan pertama tu, either you want to move 7, 6 or 5. Alright, we look into second possibility. That is, when you try to move 6 uh, down below. So, and you uh, put 6, uh, this possibility will become state C. So, we have FC equals to GC plus HC. And then, what you get here is 1 plus 3. So, how do you get HC is 3? So, you have to compare the position. So, bila kita compare position, dia ada 3, 4, 5. Okay, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6, 5, 1, 8, 1, 2, 8. So, when you compare this, you found out only 3 position dekat sini saja yang tak duduk di tempat yang sepatutnya. So, H become 3 because this is the number of tile that it has been displaced. So, it will become 4. Okay, it will equal 4. So, Fn or Fc will be 4. This one 6. Four, 6, 4. And then, we look at state D. So, what is state D? State D is when number 5 is moved at the left. So, when 5 moves at the left, we have Fd, Gd plus HD. So, we get uh, 1 plus. Okay, uh, what are the display style? Okay, where are the display style? Okay, ni saya nakkan draw. Uh, where is the display style? I will try to draw or highlight. Okay, this is the display style. Okay, this one is also displaced. This one is also displaced. Number 5 is also displaced. 5 pertanyaan duduk di sini. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 displaced tile. So, 4 displaced tile 
Okay, six. Sorry, six. Okay, number six is also displaced. Okay, you have five uh, displaced tile. One, two, three, four, five. So, you compare it with this one. So, if you have your note, open up when uh, your note while you are looking at this video. Then, you will see my point. Okay, five. Sebab ada lima tile yang displaced. So, one plus five equal to six. Alright, which path that should be chosen? So, you should uh, choose state C. So, state C is chosen because it has the lowest cost. Okay, as simple as that. So, that's why under the example over here, dia akan pilih state C. Okay, bila dah sampai pada state C, kita ada tiga choice pula di bawah state C. So, this is state C. So, we have three choice in the state C. Sekejap, saya nak adjust. Okay. You have three choice in state C. So, either you move one, like this, or you move four, like this, or you move eight. Tapi kita takkan boleh pindah balik 6. Sebab apa bila kita pindah balik 6, dia akan jadi state A. Dia akan patah balik jadi state A. So, remember that we will never go back uh, to the previous state. We can only move forward. So, let's take apa akan jadi kalau kita move uh, state uh, move 1. Okay, kita tolak satu ke sini. So, kita nak tengok, uh, kita bilang dulu uh, berapa... Banyak tile yang displaced. One. Okay. This is one. Two. Right. Three. Okay. Three. Puzzle that are displaced. Okay. Kita nak compare dengan sini lah. Sini go. Tengok. Tiga, empat, lima duduk tempat yang betul. Tujuh, enam duduk tempat yang betul. Okay. Let's say that if you move eight. Okay, tolak 8 ke bawah. Okay, if you move it. So, you still begin 1, 2, 3. Which is uh, being displaced. And then what happen when you move 4? So, 4, they can jadi 1, 2, 3, 4. So, kat sini kita nampak dah jawapan dia. E dengan F. Uh, kita katakan seri. Ha? Okay. Kita kata seri lah. Kalau kita main bola sepak, kita kata uh, keputusan dia seri. So, so, sekarang ni kita duduk pada position uh, yang kedua. So, we have already uh, make two movement. So, GN if two. Okay. Kita dah tolak. Mula-mula uh, kita tolak enam. Lepas tu kita tolak pula nombor satu. Ataupun kita tolak pula nombor lapan. So, both are candidate. So, you call this candidate. So, nanti kita kena calculate dua pula. Ah, uh, Dua benda ni. Candidate. Lepas tu kita decide mana yang satu kita nak abandon. So, yang ni kadang-kadang uh, kita kena, kena calculate, uh, calculate lebih daripada satu. So, because dua-dua ni seri, kita kena calculate lebih daripada satu. So, this one is HN. 3. And then FN. Okay, 3 tambah 2 berapa? Okay, 3 ni tambah 2. Fn maknanya 3 tambah 2. So, 5. So, here we have S, uh, Hn equals 3. Fn equals 3 plus 2. Okay, 2 plus 3. Ha, tak mau confuse. 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3. 5 and then this one state G HN is equal to 4 okay this one will not be chosen because it has the highest uh, cost so we only have state E and state F right kita cuba proceed at state E so bila dah sampai state E 
state E tak hasil bila kita move one. Okay, the tile number one. State E happen when you move tile number one. So, uh, next you only have two choice. Either you move uh, two or you move seven. Two below or seven at above. Okay, let's look at the consequences. What will happen when you move two or seven. So, kita akan cuba lihat uh, option dia. Okay, let's say when you uh, you move two. Okay, kita bila kita pindahkan dua, apa berlaku? Bila kita tolak dua ke bawah. When you push two at uh, uh, below. So, this will become H. Eh, sorry, uh, G3. Uh, okay. Okay. So HN 3. So FN will become 3 plus 3 equal to 6. Right. What will happen when you move? Seven, tolak tujuh naik ke atas Apa akan berlaku bila kita tolak tujuh naik ke atas So this will happen It will become seven Seven will become displaced And it will come uh, like this Bila kita tolak tujuh naik ke atas So GN equals to three HN equals to four And then FN equals to 3 plus 4, 7. So, this state will not be chosen. Tak akan dipilih. So, this state will become a uh, candidate. So, we try to name this state, state, state H, state I. So, state H will become candidate. Okay, candidate. Okay, next, F. So, what will happen to F? So, F pun ada dua, dua possibility. Right? This uh, F. Okay, F tak hasil bila kita tolak 8. 8 ke bawah, dia akan jadi ni. So, you only have uh, two choice. Either you push 2 or you push 3. So, let's see that when, uh, what happen when you push 2. 2 to the right. Alright. Okay, kita kena compare kat atas. Dua, oh, nampaknya dua duduk di tempat yang sebenarnya. So, bila kita dua di, duduk di tempat di sebenarnya, dia maksudnya background dia jadi putih. So, GN here is also equals to 3 sebab dia sama level dengan state E. Okay. So, you have H and we equal to 2. Sebab warna merah ni ada dua. So, FN is equal 3 plus 2. So, equal to number 5. So, we name this state, state J. So, state J. So, ini kita tak boleh kata candidate ni sebab kita kena tolak pula state 3. So, we want to look what happen when we, we uh, pass over state uh, uh, state uh, Okay, 3. Okay. Kita cuba pindahkan. So, we have here state J. So, uh, kita cuba lihat apa kan jadi bila kita tolak state 3 ni ke, ke kanan. So, Right. Okay, kita tolak uh, tree ni ke kanan The tile ni ke kanan So, automatically This will become This place So, this is state K So, in state K uh, The GN is still 3 
HN is Alright, sorry, terlindung kepala Okay, HN is 4 Okay, sebab ada 4 merah So, FN is 3 plus 4 equals 7 Right, so kita kena compare lah Mana satu yang lebih rendah 7, 6, 5 and 7 So, of course, this one is lowest So, this one is chosen No longer candidate This one is chosen So, because ini dia datang daripada F So, F pun automatic jadi Jadi chosen one Okay, chosen So, maksud dia Daripada state C pergi pada state F State F pergi pada state J Alright, from state J Kita ada berapa pilihan Okay, state J kita hanya ada satu pilihan sahaja Betul tak? Satu pilihan sahaja Hanya boleh tolak satu naik ke atas Betul tak? Right? Kita hanya boleh tolak satu naik ke atas Dia tak ada pilihan lain lagi tau Okay, hanya boleh tolak satu Naik ke atas Sebab dia kita tak boleh tolak balik dua Sebab dua dia asal dari sini So, you cannot push back number two because State J is created when you push two to the right So, only one choice That is To push uh, number one to the top Okay, but still you have to calculate Okay, to calculate the cost So, the Okay, you become like this Okay When you compare it, uh, number one uh, would be placed at its rightful uh, location. Okay. Okay, bila kita compare it and go, satu ni duduk di tempat yang betul lah. Bila satu ni duduk di tempat yang betul, maka kita kena okay, cerahkan dia. So, GN kali ni dia jadi GN4 sebab dia uh, empat kali pergerakan lah. HN uh, would be reduced HN 1 So FN would become 4 plus 1 equals to 5 Sebab so, kita tak ada pilihan lain Maka kita turun ke bawah lagi So this will become state L Okay state L JK L So this is automatically chosen Alright now in state L kita ada dua pilihan Tolak 7 naik atas ataupun tolak 8 ke kiri. Okay. Whether you push 7 above or 8 at the left. So, we look if uh, what happen when you push 7 at uh, the top. Right, so this will become GN5 So HN will become 2 uh, So FN will become 5 plus 2 Oh, okay, I started <laughs> So, it will become 7. Okay. State M. And then next, uh, we will have state N. So, state N happen when you push it to the blank uh, location. Alright, so what happen is uh, N will become uh, equal to the goal state So we have already reached goal So GN Equals to 5, still 5 But level dia sama, 5 And then HN Is 0 Because there are no display style So FN will become 5 plus 0 So equals 5 So the state 
space search would become okay pass okay would become state A C F eh? A C F J L N N Okay, jawapan macam ni lah. So, kalau macam state space ni nampak macam lain sikit pada jawapan aku, uh, tak apa, boleh uh, compare. So, you can compare it uh, uh, with the calculation. Kita tengok calculation. Kita sekarang ni tengok calculation saja. C, chosen with F. F, we go to J because this is the shortest. And then L, L between M and N, you choose N. Okay, lima. So, if you look at the answer. So, Fn is always five. Tengok, lima. Lima. Yang mana yang terpilih itu lah. Dia akan jadi lima. So, this one is chosen. Chosen. Okay. Lima. Lepas tu ni pun lima. So, semua jawapan ni lima. So, when all the cost is five. This is what we call it as uh, monotonic. Okay, monotonic uh, pass. Okay, monotonic uh, algorithm, uh, monotonic situation. So, this is chosen. So, this one chosen. Chosen and chosen. So, this is how you do it. So, cuba lukis tengok dalam uh, kertas. So, you try to draw it in your paper. So, from here, state A. You calculate to state B, C and D. So, ini saya tanda yang mana displays. Kemudian, from state C, you can go to state D, E and F. And finally, you see that in state uh, here, over here, this, this one is the shortest one, right? E, D, uh, e, F and G. So, kita tengok uh, state F yang sebenarnya yang paling uh, rendah kos dia so, uh, yang ni sebab tu saya saling beli dalam ini state ni state F okay, E, F and G so F dia terpilih dengan E E pun rendah juga tapi uh, when you compare it both under the child we have a, uh, H and I and J and K so dalam empat-empat ni J yang paling rendah kali nombor lima Dia dapat uh, nilai dia kelima. So, until then you get L and then M and N. So, dia akan dapat ni yang paling rendah. So, kalau kamu tak faham. Okay, if you cannot understand, you can rewind back the video. And then try to trace it by drawing. So, case dia kamu kena draw sebenarnya. So, you have to draw. So, kalau tak draw, memang tak boleh dapat jawapan lah. Okay, you have to draw. To find the shortest pass. So, A, C, F, J, L and N. So, uh, that's all. Nanti kita akan cuba buat soalan lain pula. Uh, berkaitan dengan Minimax. We will try to do Minimax.